So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do over, how to do a time lapse using video footage, and later on, I'll post um, a video on how to do time lapse using photos. So first, you want to have your footage already imported. So I have footage imported from a motocross race recently down here in San Diego. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop it in the timeline. And the first thing I do is if you're ever going to speed something up or slow it down, you usually want to take the volume out. Just take the volume out of the voice. Double click on it. You want to go down here to speed, right here. Jackrabbit's fast, turtle slow. For this, I'm going to show you all the way up. So now, it's just what it's going to look like over here. All sped up. And you can even see the clouds moving too. That's how, how fast you could do. With this one, you have the same situation. But I'm going to take the volume out. And the guy stands out here for a while. But the clouds move the entire time. So I'm going to find the position that he turns around and drops the gate. Okay, so here it's right here. So I'm going to split it right here. And then I'm going to speed just this part up. So I'm going to go 100, 800%. And then that'll go to the beginning. So now, second, watch how cool this looks. The clouds are moving. And you can see it going over the mountains, but he just stands still and moves a little bit. And then once it comes to race time, you'll see him walk in at regular speed and drop the gate. So that's something else you can do. Now I'm going to cover, since I'm using iMovie, I'm going to show one more thing. People have been asking me about color correction. So I'm going to show you, you go down here to info, you're going to go to video. So what you're going to want to do is if you want a summer effect, like a warm, I like to turn up all these. And you can see how it just boosts the colors. But with this GoPro, it's not the best if you turn it all the way up. So that's what I think looks better with a little bit more red than everything else and a little bit of blue so the sun's boosted now say you want to do your white point say you click on these clouds it adjusts everything to your white balance now here's another thing you can do if you just want to boost the colors you can just move the saturation so say you have a really say you're filming with your GoPro and you're out in a really green area and you want to boost the greens just move this up a little bit and it'll boost the greens and blues. Now I like doing this whenever I film motocross in December because there's tons of greens and bushes that are blooming so it looks really good. Now you don't have to. Now with contrast you don't really want to mess with this because as you can see it just dulls it. But if you do the saturation all the way up and the contrast a little bit it'll only show really thick colors like you can tell like look look what it looks like without look at the clouds and the the sky now look at it with the contrast all the way up it just pops the colors out even more so i hope this helped and if you haven't subscribed please leave a comment on what you'd like to see next and i hope you enjoy this video thank you